Hey guys, David Phillips, attorney. A question we get asked all the time is what can I do about a garnishment? A garnishment of a paycheck in Tennessee can be up to 25% of your net income, which means after your taxes and other deductions like insurance and so forth. This can be a serious problem uh, if you're on a very limited budget, so having a way to deal with that is very important. If you file either chapter of bankruptcy, you can stop the garnishment immediately. The mere fact of filing any kind of a bankruptcy proceeding initiates what's called the automatic stay, and this prevents any collection activities against you immediately. So it's very important if you're under a garnishment, try to get a bankruptcy case filed as soon as possible if you want to stop the garnishment. If you have already been garnished over $600 in the last 90 days, you may even be able to get some of that money back by filing a bankruptcy case. This falls under what's called the preference sections of the bankruptcy code, and this is to make it more fair to all of your creditors so that one creditor doesn't get all the money, and then the others uh, eventually get nothing if you file bankruptcy. The court considers it more fair if everybody gets nothing uh, versus uh, one creditor being preferred over another. So if a creditor has been garnishing your paycheck, one creditor, and that adds up to over $600 in deductions from your check, you may very well be able to get that money back if you file a bankruptcy case. If you have any more questions about a, a garnishment, please feel free to give our offices a call at any time. Uh, bankruptcy can really be a help when you're faced with issues like this, and we would be glad to help. Thanks for watching our video. See you next time.